Hello and welcome to an Envato Test Plus quick tip by Madhya Pordila. And in today's video, you'll learn about Figma's image fill settings. Uh, there are four of them, and each one allows you to manipulate images differently. So let's jump right in and see how and when you should use each one. I have a simple uh, shape right here, and I'm going to go ahead and add an image fill to it. Uh, I just uh, loaded an image from uh, Unsplash. And here, let's start with fill. Now, fill will basically fill up the entire image container. So you'll notice that when I resize, the image is now cropped, right? It's uh, positioned in the middle, and it behaves in such a way that it fills up the entire image container. And as I resize my image container, the image resizes as well. Now, if I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this to fit, it's going to take the whole image and display it inside that container in such a way that the entire image is being shown. So the image, as you can see, is no longer being cropped. Now, you would use this when you want to display the whole image and cropping it is out of the question. You would use fill when you don't really care about cropping the image and when you want to fill your image container. Now, the next option is crop. And crop basically allows you to have a fixed image container and then move the image inside it to decide which part of the image you want to show. And you'll see that when I resize my image container now, the image inside, inside is resized as well. If I want to change the size of my crop area, I can just use these handles right here and then move the image to match. You should use this when you want to display a certain part of the image. Finally, the last fill setting is tile. And this basically repeats the image over and over and over again. Now I'm gonna use a different image. I'm gonna load a pattern, right? So this is the pattern. Let me just resize this. And if I do something crazy like resize this as much as I can, you'll see that the pattern is just repeating itself over and over, infinitely, basically. And you can change the width of the pattern here. If I set it to 100%, it's going to display a larger pattern. If I set it to 10%, it's going to display a smaller pattern. So it's really up to you how uh, you want to display this. But yeah, that's what tile is doing. It's basically repeating an image over and over and over. Personally, I would only use this on backgrounds, like this example when I want to repeat a pattern. All right, and that's how you can properly use Figma's image fill settings. I hope you found this uh, quick tip useful. Thanks for watching. I'm Adi, and until next time, take care.